All right, this is the example on slide 43 of our chapter 15 PowerPoint. And this is one more example on how to balance a redox reaction. Um, but this time we're in a basic solution. So we're gonna see at the end of this um, that there's one additional step that we have to perform if you are balancing something in a basic solution. So first things first, let's assign oxidation states, figure out what's oxidized and what's reduced. So iron two plus is in the plus two oxidation state. MnO4 minus oxygen is minus two. There's four of them, so they contribute a total of a minus eight charge. And we're trying to add up to negative one. Therefore, manganese is plus seven. Iron three plus is in the plus three oxidation state. And MnO2, oxygen is always minus two in a compound. There's two of them, they're contributing minus four, so that means manganese is plus four. So if we look at oxidation numbers, manganese is going from seven to four charge, um, therefore three electrons are being transferred, and we are getting lower in charge, so therefore that is a reduction. For iron, we are going from two, plus two to plus three. We are increasing our positive charge, getting more positive. Therefore, this is our oxidation. So now we can write our half reactions. Oxidation is just Fe2 plus two Fe3 plus. And our reduction is MnO4 minus 2 MnO2. Now, the next step is to balance our elements. So in the oxidation, we have one iron on each side, so we're done with that. In our reduction, we have one manganese on each side, but we have different numbers of oxygen. So on the reactant side, we have four. Product side, we have two. So to balance oxygens, remember we add water. So since we have four oxygens on the reactant side and two on the product, I'm going to add two water molecules. And now we have balanced oxygens on each side. We've also created hydrogens, so we have to make sure those are balanced. Since we have two waters, each with two hydrogens, that means I have a total of four hydrogens on the product side. So I'm going to add four hydrogen ions to the reactant side. Um, so now our, um, our elements are balanced. Um, and our next step is going to be to look at electrons transferred. Ooh, okay, so now I have these rewritten um, on a new slide. We're going to look at number of electrons transferred. So for our oxidation, we're going from plus 2 to plus 3. That means we're losing one electron. And for oxidation, the electrons are written on the product side. So plus 1 electron. For our reduction, we go back and recall our oxidation numbers. Manganese is going from plus 7 to plus 4. So that is a charge difference of plus 3. This is a reduction, so I'm going to add 3 electrons to the reactant side. Now our next step is to make sure that the electrons between the two half reactions are equal. So I'm going to multiply my iron half reaction by 3 so that my get total three electrons being transferred. So if I rewrite my oxidation, it's three Fe2 plus gives you three Fe3 plus plus three electrons. And now we have balanced those two. So done with that one. Now we can add these two half reactions together. Remember, electrons on opposite sides of the arrow, they're going to cancel. So my final at this point is MnO4 minus 
plus 3 Fe2 plus plus 4 H plus gives you 3 Fe3 plus plus MnO2 plus 2 H2O. Now in a normal reaction, we'd be done. But because this is a basic solution, what we have to do is to neutralize or balance out our H plus ions with hydroxide or OH minus ions. So we have four hydrogens on this side. In order to neutralize it, we're going to add four OH minus. Whatever we do to the reactant side, we do to the product side as well. So I'm going to add four OH minus to the product side. Now, the two of these, when they come together, H plus OH gives you H2O. So since I have four of each, that means I have four H2O on the reactant side. So we can rewrite to say MnO4 minus plus 3 Fe2 plus plus 4 H2O gives you 3 Fe3 plus plus MnO2 plus 2 H2O plus 4 OH minus. Now we're not quite done yet because now we have two hydrogens on the product or not hydrogens, two waters on the product side, four on the reactant side. So what I need to do is to cancel out the waters on either side. So if I have two on the product side, they're going to completely go away, and I'm going to be left with two on the reactant side, because four minus two is two. So then our final balanced equation for this basic solution, MnO4, which is aqueous, plus 3 Fe2 plus aqueous, plus 2 H2O, which is a liquid, produces 3 Fe3 plus, which is aqueous, plus MnO2, which is a solid, plus 4 OH minus, which is aqueous. And that is your final balanced equation answer. So a little bit more um, complex, but um, overall relatively same steps.